Hello scientists, today you are going to create a model of Earth's crust. Earth has many layers from its inner core to its outer crust. And to understand how more landforms are made, we want to take a peek at the crust itself. For this model, you're going to need a mixing bowl, some sort of tray, a measuring cup, flour, and water. You'll take your one half cup of flour and pour it in your bowl. Then you're going to take just a small spoonful at a time adding water to your flour. And this is the part where you, like, you can get messy if you'd like. If you want to stir with your hands, that's what I'm going to do. Or you can use a fork or a whisk. So I'm going to mix it, I need some more water. And I'm trying to make something that feels kind of like a dough where it's wet and moldable but not too sticky. So we've gotten our dough or our flour water mixture to a doughy consistency. Notice how it's not sticking to my hands too much. That means I have added just the right amount of water. Now what you're going to do is you are going to find something flat to put it on. I'm using a baking mat. You can use a plate or a tray. What you're going to do Let's first get it into a nice little ball. You'll roll it in between your hands. And it might be a little bit crumbly, but that's okay. Because what you're going to do is you're going to make it nice and flat. Now, if it's a little sticky like mine, you can sprinkle a little bit of flour on top so that the dough doesn't stick on your hands. So I'm flattening it. I can flatten it out with my hands and flip it over so it doesn't get stuck. And make it as flat as I can. If it's sticky, you'll just add a little bit more flour to dry it out. Now, if you want to use a rolling pin, you can, or you can just make it as flat as you can with your fingers. Now, for this science demonstration, you're going to have to have a little bit of patience. All right, so remember that we're making a model of Earth's crust. And Earth has many layers, but everything that we experience and that we interact with every day is part of Earth's crust. From your house is on top of Earth's crust, to our school, to the mountains and the hills are all part of Earth's crust. Now, Earth's crust is broken apart into different tectonic plates. There are nine tectonic plates on Earth. And what we're going to be doing is cracking apart our Earth's crust to create different tectonic plates on, this can be your made up planet. This is Miss Lex crust on Miss Lex planet. Just like how Earth has Earth's crust. So what we're going to do, if your crust looks like mine, you can see that it has natural cracks in it already. What we're going to do is we're going to stretch out the crust to emphasize and see where those cracks lie. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my fingers together like this. I'm just going to stretch out. My dough rips in the different places and it has its different plates. But if you look closely, they can fit back together to make that full puzzle. So, we have our different plates. When they come together, they touch. Now Earth's plates, we'll be exploring this more, shift and move during time. They pull apart from each other. They sometimes overlap from each other and sometimes they slide by each other. Those cause some of the Earth events that we know of, such as volcanoes, earthquakes, and we'll be exploring what, how tectonic plates are related to mountains next week. 